All right, so in this problem, we have these positions that are given to us. So they talk, they, they talk about this guy, John, traveling along a straight highway. He notices that the mile marker reads 260. So we'll say like right here. And you guys have probably noticed this on highways. You ever see like those mile markers? They have a little signs on the side of the road. So this right here is the 260 mile marker right here. That's the, that's the position. Why do they have those anyway? Uh, probably for highway patrol, you know, we're calling in accidents or, you know, road repairs. Okay, so the guy goes from the 260 mile marker, uh, and then he travels until he reaches the 150. So the 150 is going to be over here. There's the 150 mile marker. That's a position. And so he, he goes from here over to the 150 mile marker. And then, and then retraces his path to the 175 mile marker. So he comes back like this, uh, and then this this right here is the 175 mile marker. <clears throat> so he ends right here. The question is, what is his resultant displacement from the 260? So displacement, the definition of displacement is its final position minus initial position. All it cares about is the starting point and the ending point and the shortest distance in between. So what's going to be his displacement here? It's the difference between 260 and 175. So that's going to be what? 85. Now is it going to be plus or minus? See, uh, plus and minus in physics is direction. So the way I set this up, to the right is plus to the left is minus. So which way was his displacement? Was his displacement to the right or was his displacement to the left? To the left. So the answer should come out negative. Um, and if you, if you plug into this equation, you know, change is always final minus initial. So where's his final position for this journey? 175 mile. And then what was his initial? 260 mile. So this comes out as negative 85 miles. What, is the neg what does the negative mean? To the left. You know, he's moving, he's moving to the left. Okay? Hey, on the quiz, it doesn't, it doesn't ask for this here, but on the quiz, I could ask you for the distance he traveled. So distance is what we use in everyday life. For this journey, so from here all the way over to here and then back again, what would the distance be? It'd be a hundred and what? Right, is it 125? Let's see, hold on. So from, from 260 over to the, oh yeah, that's 110. So from here over to here is 110 miles, right? And then he comes back another 25, so yeah. The distance, the distance that he travels would be 135 miles. The only time distance and displacement are not the same is when there's a change in direction, which is what happened here. He goes out like this and then comes back again. If there's a change of direction, then distance and displacement are not the same. Uh, just add them up. Like you, you have to go, okay, so you know, the, the distance to there is 110, and then the distance back is 25. Yep. 